Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take photos and display them on a web app. In particular, these photos are stored in a Google Drive. So, in this instance, I got these stored in a directory called Pictures in my Google Drive, and I am displaying those in a web app. So, I'll go through the process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. So I'm on my Google Drive here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new Google Apps script. So I'm going to hit this arrow down here. I'm going to go down to more. I'm going to go Google Apps script. I'm going to click that. So that's going to open up a new project. I'm going to give it a name. I'll we'll call it Display, display Picture. Hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my Google Apps script code. So I have that copied. I'm going to hit save. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my HTML file. So I'm going to hit file, new HTML file. I'm going to call this display file, which is the same name right up here on my Google Apps script here. Hit OK. So now I'm going to copy in my HTML code into this file. I'm going to hit save. I will post this code below the video in the comments section so you can copy and paste it as well. I'm going to copy both the Google Apps script and the HTML code as well. So I'm going to first start with the Google Apps script code on this do git. So I'm calling this as a template from file. And I'm calling my, my, putting my HTML file name as display file, which is the same name as over here. Um, I'm using this template so I can use templated HTML so I can do tags within my HTML to call Google Apps Script. So I'm creating a template. This allows me to do that. Next thing I'm doing is I'm getting my pictures. In particular, I'm getting all the picture IDs of a certain directory. So this is calling this function get pictures, which is down here. And the first thing I'm going to set my destination ID of my Google Drive, the, the location where I want to pull my pictures from. So I'm going to go over to my Google Drive. I'm going to go over here to this pictures. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this ID here. So what you want to do is you want to create a directory you can name it whatever you want, but when you click on the directory, the ID is always this trailing number string value right here. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Hit Control C. We'll go back over to my script. I'm going to copy that in. So now I have the ID set here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm getting the directory object from the ID that I'm supplying in here from my Google Drive. So I'm getting the directory object of the Google Drive. And then the next thing I do is I'm extracting the files and getting the object of the files. And I'm declaring a file array here. And within this file array is I'm just going to collect the IDs of each of my files. The IDs is all I'm really interested in. So here I'm doing a while loop and it's cutting through the files one by one. So it's looking to see if it has one coming up. If it does, it's going to go the, it's getting the next one, declaring it as the file. And then from here, I'm taking that file object and I'm getting the ID from the file. And I'm pushing that to my array here. So within this, I have four pictures here. So I'm gathering four IDs here and I'm returning back. So now I have my array of IDs. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm pushing that parameter or that variable or that basically that post value of pictures into my HTML file. So I'm declaring that and now I'm doing a evaluate. So now I'm going to bring up my HTML file pushing my pictures array to the screen. So now I'm going to click on my display file so I have this. Again, this is pretty basic setup. I'm going to come down to the body. Now I set up a table here, right there. 
Actually, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move my header up here. Right there. And I'll have this posted correctly below the video, but I'm going to move my header record tag above my table tag here. So my header record says to display pictures. Now I'm going to start my table. Now I'm going to do some templated HTML with my tags here. I'm going to do a four and here's my array of my pictures. It's getting the length right here. So I'm cutting through the IDs. Now I'm setting a row tag and a column tag here and I'm doing an image HTML here and then I'm setting my URL of that image. So I got this all set up which should be the same for everybody and then here I have my template HTML equals and now I'm putting my ID in here for the location of my picture ID. So I'm going to be displaying four pictures so it's going to go through one, two, three, four, each dis displaying a different ID of the location. Here I'm setting up the size of my picture so I got 400 wide and 500 height closing my column tag and row tag and then closing my table tag and the body so that is displaying it so again I'm calling the picture up by this Google Drive link here and with this link I can go over to my pictures as you can set up uh, a share on here so I click that here I just have me here and uh, I can add people onto this whoever could get viewership of my photo or I can give it full access down here change it to anyone with a link so anybody has this link but you gotta make sure because you're gonna be displaying this link on this web app and if you give the web app full control and you give this one full control then anybody could see your pictures but if you restrict it down here and you can add people that you want to see it certain gmail accounts here just to see your photos or display them you can add the people here so so it's pretty neat that you can share the access of who can see these photos or who can't on your web app by controlling the share of each one of these photos so i'll go back over here and i'll go ahead and i'll deploy i'm going to hit publish deploy web app next thing i'm going to do is hit new and I'm going to do me, excuse me, see, I'm just going to do only myself at this point. So I'm going to hit deploy. Now, if you want everybody to see this, you can hit everyone or everyone, even anonymous. If you click those things, then anybody can view your web app, but they won't necessarily be able to view your photos because that'll be dependent on your share on your photos. So for this example, I'm just going to do only myself. I'm going to hit deploy. It's going to go through permissions. I'm going to select my account. Hit advanced. Hit go to display picture. And allow. So now I got my URL here that I can copy and paste. But here I'm just going to test with it. So I'm going to hit latest code. This will just let you test with whatever you, your latest change is. But this is the one that you would share out to people to get access to your link here. I'm going to hit latest code. So now I have the pictures displayed. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.